And I had to defend Joel Rochelle's, he must speak for himself. But this summer, the money that the manager and the, uh, the director of football wants is there. So, Manchester United CEO Richard Arnold went and met some Manchester United fans down the pub and spoke about Manchester United's plans. If you don't know who Richard Arnold is, he's Ed Woodward's replacement. And look, I actually respect him for going and talking to the fans and speaking out of the pub. And he is an improvement on Ed Woodward. But, you know, time will tell with what he said we should believe or not. And I'm going to get in and I'm going to show you some video clips of Richard Arnold at the pub that I found circulating on Twitter about what he said to fans. And then I spoke to a couple people who were there and what he also said that wasn't on video and summarise the whole Richard Arnold meeting Manchester United fans down the pub situation. A little bit of context for you guys. The reason Richard Arnold was at the pub is because there was going to be a protest outside his house and he knew they were meeting at the pub before. And obviously he doesn't want a protest outside his house. So he went and met them at the pub. OK, so let's get the first video clip up on the screen. Generated and that was... We spent we spent a billion pound on players over the last century. We spent more than anyone in Europe. But I believe, it, you know, I, I'm not thrilled where we are. Right? I, I don't. Doesn't sit easy. I worry. Right? Like, we've got to get this sorted for the future. He said we spent a billion on players, and he's basically not happy where we are. You know, we've got to get this sorted in the future, which is right. That the first thing he said is spot on. We spent crazy amount of money. We've probably spent. I think we spent the second most amount of money since after Man City. I think only Man City spent more than us, but we're miles behind us. And he's saying, look, we spent a billion pounds. I'm not happy where it's went, which is true. Look at the state of our squad. What's happened is we fucking burned through cash on, you can't, like, you can't go to our training ground and say, by the way, show me where that billion pound is in. <laughs> because it, you know, it, I don't think we've done well with the money we've spent historically. Yeah. But I'm not defend. I'm not here to defend Joel Rochelle. He must speak for himself, right? I wanted to talk to you. You've taken the time and energy to come here to make your view known. I respect that. Um, and that we've blown through an enormous amount. And again, he's basically summer. saying he respects that they've come here, respects their views, which you have to. And he's saying again, you know, you can't see on the training ground. We spent a billion pounds. He's, he's admitted that we've wasted a billion pounds. Which I take as a positive look. Not everyone's going to believe what he says and all of that. But I like how he's come and addressed the fans. And I respect him for that. I don't think Richard Arnold's the man for the job. I don't think he's the perfect man for the job. But I think the fans have a right to have communication with Richard Arnold. And I like that he's communicated with the fans. I think that's a right. And I like how he's openly admitted the money we spent in the past wasn't good money spent. And maybe that means for future his plan is to spend money more wisely. And make sure they get the right kind of players in. A.K.A. get Ten Hag's first choice instead of getting his third choice, because his third choice is cheaper. For this summer, the money that the manager and the, uh, the director of football wants is there, right? For the future, for investing in a in new stadium and that sort of stuff. He just said, and this is the biggest thing, the money that the manager and the director of football want is there. He's saying the money is there. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. But for me, that is the biggest thing he's saying. He's saying the money is there. He's reassuring us the money is there. So... You know, let's see us spend the money. I want to see at least 130 million spe net spend this summer. I think Tenal should get 150 million, but I want to see at least 130 because that's what the other managers got. Investors in. And again, you know, uh, I need that to do what I want for the club. Right? I've got to, I've got to have more cash than we have now yeah, yeah. because a new stadium, no stadium, and no club in the world has the money to do. He's saying he's saying without getting it from someone. They don't, no one generates that. You either borrow it or someone invests it, right? And well, so he's spurs on the mortgage. He's, he's saying he needs yeah. investors to do what he wants, blah de blah de blah. And that is because you know the Glazers could invest, but they won't. You know, if, you know, people, you know, Man City invest their cash. PSG do. Obviously, we don't. The Glazers don't. That's his sort of way of basically saying the Glazers aren't going to give them a penny. Which surprise, surprise. Or someone invests it, right? And well, so it's spurs on the mortgage, eight hundred million. Spurs got a billion pound mortgage, yeah. Yeah. right? So the money's got to come from somewhere, and and you may not like our current owners. Okay, I can't help that. The but if you want someone else to come in, they have to look and say, okay, the fans love the club, they love the team, it's positive. Because the other bit is, I look again, he's saying the money's got to come from somewhere. You might not like our current owners. <laughs> no fucking shit. You know, no shit. If you want someone else to come in, they have to look and say, okay, the fans love the club, they love the team, it's positive. Because the other bit is, I look, look at that, last year was a fucking nightmare, right? It was a nightmare. I was hating every game. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so really what I take from this, I'm not going to play much protest. more of it because the last few seconds is waffle. Okay, but really what I take from this is he's saying uh, for him to do what he wants to do, he needs investment of different owners. He wants to do stuff. And in a weird way, he is kind of slandering the Glazers here, which I like. Um, obviously not Ralph level slander. We loved a bit of Ralph level slander and all of that. I don't agree with a bit about stopping the protests and all of that, but I, I, I respect Richard Arnold for coming and talking to the fans. That's what he should be doing. I think he does want to fix the mess. He clearly doesn't rate what Edward Wood does. So you've got to say fair play to, for Richard Arnold. This is very good to hear. Only time will tell if we'll see that. He says the money's there. He's slated what Edward Wood done. You know, he said, you know, he wants to do things, but, you know, he needs the investment for that. And you know what? I like, Ed, sorry, not Edward, but Edward Wood. Oh, no, no, Richard Arnold. I like the fact that Richard Arnold has addressed the fans. I don't think Richard Arnold is the perfect man for the job, but he's an improvement on Edward Wood, but that's not exactly hard. But I think I like the communication with the fans. I think that's what us fans have deserved. We've got no communication with, with Wood. I respect that he's, you know, addressed it in that situation. He doesn't rate what Woodward's done. He's saying that he wants to do what's best for United. And is this for sympathy? Is this to stop the protest? We'll have to wait and see. At the end of the day, he's saying the right things, but actions do speak louder than words. So a guy called Gary Deacon on Twitter has put out a thread and he's obviously one of the people that went to the protest. And he said, and I'm going to read out the thread to you, to set the story straight, we met with Richard Arnold today after plans to go to the protest outside his house got out by some rat and he came down the pub to meet us, blah, 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 blah. He said that it seemed like a very scripted speech, which none of us fell for. He said his hands are tied because he's not getting the investment he needs, as you saw in the video clip, and he wants to make Man United great again. However, he was like um, Neil Ashton, full of PR nonsense. What he said, not so many words, um, is attacking sponsors, uh, sponsor effects, ETC, all of that. He said money he needs, that it carries on. The Glazers have to put their hands in their pocket. So obviously no chance of that saying to get the money he wants, he needs investment, aka, as we saw in the video clip, the Glazers want to invest. Um, he is there to run Manchester United as a business, not a football club. So the sponsor's getting angry at him. It's affecting his job, which is something he's trying. I think that let, probably relates to something when Richard Arnold, as you can see in the video, was saying something about the protest, negative effect for the club. And, you know, PR sponsorship with the protest, it goes down. And all the money we get in is from sponsors because of the fucking Glazers won't invest. Um, you know, and all of that. He said to put a stop to slash if slash when we get new owners. He knows full well he wouldn't be CEO. Why the f uh, F would you want to have a Liverpool fan CEO with a rugby background, not football, which is a solid point. He tried and failed miserably to make us feel sorry for him. To summarise, he isn't a good guy, says Jerry Deacon. For us, getting a few beers. Um, he got him a few beers, I guess. Uh, but he's a multi-millionaire, <laughs> as he put in brackets. He says he's against uh, the dividends. He doesn't agree with them being taken. He generally wants what's best for the club, but his hands are tied. Uh, new owners, protest sponsors, bashing just makes his job harder blah 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 and then Gary Deacon summed it up by saying he's far better than Woodward and will do a better job than Woodward but that's not so much as I said earlier the only thing he deserves respect for is coming to chat to a bunch of angry United fans apart from that he's in it for himself and protecting the Glazers um the Glazers means protecting and all of that uh his job and his own interest he told it like a true politician waffle evasiveness and PR and that is said by someone that saw Richard Arnold saying waffle a basis in the PR. I'm going to give him Richard Arnold the respect of coming to talk to the fans and all of that. I wasn't there. I can't tell his tone and all of that. Politicians lie, football clubs lie. We all know that. But as I said, I think actions speak louder than words and we'll have to see. But I like how Richard Arnold uh, sort of said, you know, he needs the investment, investment and obviously the Glazers aren't going to invest. I think that's him hinting at new owners would be best. He wants to do things, but he did say the money is there, which is a positive. And he did say we spent money badly in the past, which he clearly doesn't rate what Ed Woodward's done. And he clearly, hopefully, doesn't want to fall into the same trap as Ed Woodward and, and, and get stupid money. But as I said, time will tell. Actions speak louder than the words. I thought this was a really interesting day, a really interesting video. Apologise for no live stream, but smash a like, smash a subscribe. See you next time. Bye.